हॅलो एव्हरी वन माय सेल्फ लेक्चरर आदिती अनिल कुशारे मास्टर ऑफ फार्मसी इन क्वालिटी अशुरन्स टेक्निक्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एक्सपेरिमेंट फ्रॉम फार्मास्युटिक्स टू सो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन टू सॉलिड डोसेज फॉर्म्स दॅट इज पावडर्स अँड अदर ओरल युनिट डोसेज फॉर्म्स द सॉलिड डोसेज फॉर्म्स आर अवेलेबल मोस्टली इन युनिट डोसेज फॉर्म्स सच ॲज टॅबलेट्स कॅप्सुल्स कॅचेट्स पावडर्स और टॅबलेट ट्रायचुरेट पावडर्स The pharmaceutical powder is a mixture of finely divided drug and or chemical in the dry form. They are solid dosage forms of medicament which are meant for internal and external use. Classification of powders are bulk powder for internal use, bulk powder for external use, simple and compound powder for internal use, powders enclosed in gadgets and capsules and fifth one compressed powders that is tablets that are also known as tablet triturates. So first one we will discuss about the bulk powder for internal use powders are dispensed in bulk when accuracy of dosage is not important they are supplied in the wide mouth container that permit the easy removal of spoonful of powder examples of that bulk powder for internal use are rhubarb powder bpc that is known as a grigory's powder compound bismuth powder second one that is a bulk powder for external use these are non potent substances these powders are supplied in the cardboard glass or the plastic container the dusting powders are supplied in a perforated or the sifter top container the classification of this bulk powder for external use is first of all dusting powder then insufflation snuffs and dentifrices we will discuss about dusting powder these are generally applied to the skin in very fine state to avoid the local irritation hence the dusting powders should be passed through sieve number 80 to enhance their action classification of dusting powder is medical and surgical there are two classes we will discuss about a medical these are used mainly for superficial skin conditions and sterility is rarely essential medical dusting powders are not intended for application to the open wounds or areas of broken skin surgical one these are used in the body cavities and major wounds on burns and on the umbilical area of infants hence they must be sterile insufflations these are medicated dusting powders meant for introduction into body cavities such as nose throat ears and vagina with the help of apparatus known as insufflator insufflations should be finely divided powder so that a stream of fine particles of medicaments get applied to the site of application snuffs these are finely divided solid dosage forms of medicament which are inhaled into the nostrils for its antiseptic bronchodilator and decongestion action snuffs are dispensed in the flat metal boxes with the hinged lid then next one fourth class that is dentifrices which is tooth powders these are applied with the help of toothbrush for cleaning the surface of the teeth they contain the suitable detergent or the soap some abrasive substances such as calcium sulfate magnesium carbonate sodium carbonate sodium chloride are used in the fine powder a strong abrasive substance should not used as it may damage the tooth structure then next third class that is the simple and compound powder for internal use this is the main class of the powder each individual dose is enclosed in the paper in the divided powders the number of ingredient may be one simple powder or more than one that is compound powder the minimum quantity of powder should not less than 100 mg simple powder a simple powder contains only one ingredient either in a crystalline or the amorphous form which should be reduced to fine powder and wrapped as individual doses compound powders compound powders contain the two or the more than two substances which are mixed together and divided into desired number of individual doses fourth one that is powders enclosed in gadgets catches are the solid do- unit dosage form of the drugs these are molded from rice paper they are used to reduce to sorry enhance the nauseous or the disagreeable powders and are available in the different sizes to hold the drugs from 0.2 to 15 g of powder catches are of two types that is wet seal catches and dry seal catches 
direction for this is immerse in water for few seconds and swallow with a drop of water then fifth one that is a tablet triturates these are the powders molded into the tablets molded tablets are flat circular disc usually contain a potent substance which is mixed with lactose dextrose or some other suitable diluent packing and storage packaging and storage of this tablet triturates are packed in an airtight container to protect from moisture general method of preparation of powders the during the powdering weighing and mixing there is a loss of powder which cannot be avoided therefore calculate the quantity for one extra powder than required it is difficult to weigh the quantity less than 2 grain or 100 mg as we know 1 grain is equal to 60 mg on dispensing balance therefore this quantity must be triturated with a suitable diluent such as lactose the crystalline substances are powdered separately and then weigh the required quantity of ingredient mix all the ingredients in the ascending order of their weight and mix thoroughly to obtain a homogeneous powder mixing of powders powders may be mixed by one of the following methods that is a spatulation trituration geometric dilution sifting and tumbling dispensing of powders involving special problem a number of problems arise while dispensing a powder containing volatile substances hygroscopic and deliquescent powder eutectic mixture efflorescent powders explosive substances and potent drugs so special considerations are done while dispensing such powders volatile substances first problem is for the volatile substances the volatilization of substances like menthol camphor and the essential oils may take place incorporation in the powders or should be wrapped in the wax paper and outer wrapper may be in a thick paper then second one for hygroscopic and deliquescent powder the powder which absorb the moisture from the atmosphere such as ammonium chloride iron and ammonium citrate pepsin phenobarbital sodium bromide sodium iodide such substances are supplied in the granular form or should be double wrapped for deliquescent substances wrapping in aluminum oh, sorry ammonium foil or plastic cover is advisable third one that is for efflorescent powder some crystalline substances become wet or liquefy during trituration for an example caffeine citric acid ferrous sulfate etc this difficulty may be overcome by using the anhydrous salt or an inert substance eutectic mixture when two or more substances are mixed together they liquefy due to the formation of a new compound which has a lower melting point than room temperature example menthol thymol camphor salol etc an equal amount of any inert absorbent like magnesium carbonate light magnesium oxide kaolin starch lactose is mixed with eutectic substance packaging of powder for divided dosage form for internal use should be done appropriately double wrapping white demi paper gives inadequate protection to volatile hygroscopic and deliquescent substances unless it is lined with grease proof paper if greater moisture resistance is required use waxed paper the inner paper is cut a few mm smaller each way than the white demi and it is satisfactory to fold both the papers together sometimes it is necessary to wrap each packet externally in a aluminium foil so in next session we will discuss about the actual experiment experiment number 87 title of this experiment is to prepare and submit dusting powder 10 g in this we are going to study the solid dosage forms for external use proposition 1 dusting powders are the powders in fine state of subdivision that can be used for external application to the areas where the skin is intact learning objectives are to understand the purpose and the method of preparation of powder for external use and ability to prepare and label dusting powder appropriately apparatus required are mortar pestle spatula sieve number 80 etc factor calculated as quantity required upon quantity given is equal to 10 upon 100 that is equal to 0.1 so we have this is a prescription which is denoted by the symbol rx this is the prescription given in the latin terminology names are given in the latin so let's discuss in detail about the formulation table type that is category use or role of ingredient translation means the name of ingredient as we don't have the quantity given in imperial system as the formula is in formula the quantities are not given in the 
Latin terminology. So we don't have this quantity given in imperial system. We directly have the quantity given in the metric system for preparing 100 gram and quantity taken in metric system to prepare up to 10 gram. Zinc oxide used as astringent, antiseptic, soothing A and protective agent. Quantity given in metric system is a 20 gram. Taken quantity should be 2 gram. Quant uh, the next salicylic acid used to treat the acne. Quantity given in metric system that is 2 gram. Taken should be 0.2 gram. Starch used as a moisturizer to maintain the moisture balance or uh, it will helps to absorb the oils and moisture to which will help to keep the skin moisture quantity given in metric system 78 gram taken quantity should be 7.8 gram direction for external use only to be used as directed by physician so we have this is a zinc oxide this is salicylic acid and this is the starch powder so first of all, I am going to add all these powders into this mortar paste for proper trituration of it. All these three powders are add, I am going to add into this mortar. Then now I will triturate it properly. After transferring into sorry, after triturating it properly into this mortar. Now I am going to pass this mixture from this sieve number 80. Now the powder is completely transferred from this sieve number 80 onto this filter paper and we will going to proceed for next part that is to sterilize this powder into oven at 160 degrees Celsius. So now we have this is a hot air oven. So now I am going to place this powder into this hot air oven for one hour for sterilization at 160 degrees Celsius. And now after one hour this powder is sterilized completely. Then I am going to transfer this sterile powder into the container. So now I am going to transfer this sterile powder into this container, wide mouth water and then we will proceed for next labeling part. Towards labeling of formulation, we have this is the dusting powder 10 gram for ABC that is a name of patient, register number XYZ is the number given in the register. Thank you. 